Amen. Well, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. It's me, Apostle Esther. I pray that you are already having an amazing day. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Today is Friday. It's our day of prayer. Uh, so I want to thank you for joining me. Just a reminder, every Monday through Friday, we're releasing new content and we have, um, through prayer and seeking the Lord, decided that Friday would be our day of prayer, where we agree with the Word of God, we agree with your faith, we touch and agree. The Bible says that many two touch and agree um, on anything that we would see it come to pass. So we agree with your faith that whatever you're believing God for, that He will do exceedingly abundantly above all that you or I could ever ask or think. I am an ambassador. That means that I am on an assignment to further and to advance the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You already know I'm super excited about this assignment. I take it very, very personal. I take it very seriously because I know that this is what the Lord has instructed and commanded me to do. Today, I just want to um, just pray and just agree that God will answer prayer and that God will heal our land. Second Chronicles 7 and 14 said, if my people who are called by my name would just, just humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins and I will heal their land. This land needs to be healed. We need to go back to the God of Abraham the God of Isaac and Jacob. We need to come back to a place of repentance and we need to come back to the place where we know God to be our Lord, to be our Father. Um, so we, we need to pray and we need to agree that God will heal the land. Will you agree with me today as I agree with you concerning your prayer request? Let us pray. Oh Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. We come to you in the matchless name of Jesus to declare your word. Isaiah 55 and 11 says, and it establishes, so shall my word be, that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please. And it will prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. So, Father, we stand firm on the authority of your word. Lord Jesus, we are anointed and we are powerful people of God. We were created in your image and after your likeness. We are heirs and we are joint heirs. And we are more than conquerors through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that loves us. We are a doer of your word and we hear your word and we are a channel for your blessings. God, if you be for us, who can be against us? We are blessed coming in and we're blessed going out. Our enemies are fleeing before us daily. God, you have commended your blessings upon us. You have commended your blessings to be in our storehouses. You've commanded your blessings to be in our houses. And you have opened up, oh God, your good treasures that we shall lend and not borrow. Lord God, we declare and we decree that we are the head and not the tail. You have given us power to get wealth. We dwell in the secret place of the Most High. And we thank you, Lord God, for your divine provision and your, provide, and your divine protection. God, you are a refuge and you are our fortress. We are not afraid of the snare and we are not afraid, O oh God, of the fowler. No evil shall befall us and no plague shall come nigh our dwelling place. God, you've given your angels charge over us to keep us in all of our ways. And they bear us up with their hands, lest we dash our foot against a stone, as your word declares in Psalm 91. First Peter 2 and 9 establishes, O oh God, that we are a chosen generation and we are a royal priesthood. And we are a holy nation. We are a peculiar people. And we are called out of darkness into your marvelous light. 
1 Peter 2 and 24 declares that we've been healed by the stripes of Jesus. By your stripes, we declare and we decree, oh God, that we're healed on today, that we are whole and complete. Nothing is missing and nothing is broken. We come against oppression and depression. It has no place in our lives. We come against mental illness and mental breakdowns. We come against, oh God, cancer, sugar, diabetes, heart disease, kidney failure, sickness, afflictions, and infections, or any other disease. We come against it now and we release the word of healing. We thank you, Lord God, that we are without spot or blemish. Lord, we are interceding on behalf of your people. Your word declares that we are the righteousness of God, that we're saved, that we're delivered, and we are washed in the blood of Jesus. We have been made the righteousness of Jesus Christ and we have been declared the righteousness of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you that we walk up right before you and no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment, you shall condemn it, O God. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and we are your righteousness and we thank you for that. We are saved from the wrath and we are justified by the blood of the lamb. Thank you, O oh God, for washing us in your blood and filling us with your love and forgiving us of all of our sins. We declare that you are Lord over our life and we declare that we are the redeemed. Lord, I pray that we continue to prosper and we continue to abide in a place of peace. Father, I thank you for every person that is under the sound of my voice. Lord, we pray for judges. We pray for lawyers. We pray for doctors. We pray, we pray, oh God, for first responders. We pray for teachers. We pray for principals. We pray, Lord God, for our nation. Lord God, we come against racial, um, uh, systemic racial prejudices on today, oh, uh, oh God. We thank you, Lord God, for healing us of that. Look, that place of darkness, oh God. Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, that even in our governmental structure, that you will move your hand and that your hand will be favorable towards your people. God, we need a healing in this land on today. Lord, I lift up pastors. I look up, lift up leaders, oh God. I lift up children, that they will have a heart to serve you, that they will have a heart to please you, oh God. Lord, I thank you that we come back to a true and proper relationship where we love the Lord God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And not only the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, but you are our God. God, we take a personal approach to that on today. You are my God. You are my Lord. You are my healer. You are my deliverer. You are my strong tower. You are my bridge over troubled water. You are my bread when I'm hungry. You are my water when I'm thirsty. You are my mind regulator. You are my heart fixer. For that I say thank you, Lord. So, Lord, I thank you that your peace will rest with us, that your peace will rule us, oh God. Lord God, I bind up the spirit of COVID in the name of Jesus. I come against the flu, Lord God, even though there have been predictions of so many um, fatalities and mortalities. God, we release the word of life on today. God, we bind the spirit of death and we call for the life to come forth in the lives of your people. So we bless you for life. You said with long life will I satisfy thee. So Father, we stand on the authority of your word. We stand, Lord God, in a place of victory. We stand in a place of assurance. We thank you that you're drawing us close to you. Draw us nearer. Draw me nearer. Nearer, blessed Lord. Lord, to that place, to the cross, to the cross of Calvary. Lord God, that we realize who you are in our lives. Now, Father, I want you to be magnified. I want you to be glorified. I thank you that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, that it is acceptable in thy sight. O oh, Lord, my strength, our strength, our redeemer. And we thank you that the redeemed of the Lord can say so. Now, Lord, bless every person that hears this prayer. Whatever the need is, every prayer request, we agree with your word on today. We're thankful that you hear and that you answer prayer. We're thankful, Lord God, that we're blessed. We're blessed people and that we will enjoy the abundant life. Now, Father, you be magnified. 
I will forever give you praise. I will forever give you glory. I will forever bless your holy, wonderful, and your righteous name. It is in Jesus' name we agree by faith. Amen and amen. Well, we know that the word of prayer has gone forth and we declare that God will destroy the yoke of the enemy and that he will lift every burden and that he will cause us to walk and to reign in a place of righteousness. I want you to enjoy the furtherance of your day. We will be back on next week with the more good news gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. I am Apostle Esther Sanctius. My husband, Apostle Chris, and I greet you and we encourage you to continue listening to our YouTube channel. Check out our Facebook page. Also, our website, kingscourtmen.com. God bless you. Have an amazing day.